What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and today we're going to be checking out another really cool accessory from Elgato. This is the Thunderbolt 3 Pro Dock, and it's got a few cool hidden surprises that makes this a really solid option for those looking for a solid Thunderbolt 3 docking station. Before we get into the dock itself, let's just take a look at what you get inside of the box. The Pro Dock comes with a 2.3 foot Thunderbolt 3 cable and a power supply. So just going over the port selection here, we've got a full sized and micro SD card slots, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports on the front. On the back, we've got a display port Gen 1.2, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, a headphone jack, and a gigabit ethernet port. That's overall a pretty healthy selection of ports as you've now got more than one port for every category essentially. Those categories including video, audio, and data transfer. When going over the display configurations possible with these ports on the Pro Dock, you'll really find that this thing is pretty capable. The display port output can drive a display at up to 4096 by 2160p at 60Hz. The Thunderbolt 3 output can drive a display at up to 5120 by 2880p at 60Hz, so you'd have no trouble hooking this guy up to an ultra-fine 5K. And if you're driving dual displays, the max resolution for each display is 4096 by 2160p at 60Hz. And 4K60 over HDMI 2.0 is possible when using active adapters when you're adapting through either Thunderbolt 3 or DisplayPort. The Thunderbolt port also has a max output of 40 gigabits per second, so you're not going to be getting gimped Thunderbolt speeds, which is good to see. And in typical Thunderbolt fashion, you can charge a computer with this port at up to 85 watts. And the two USB-C ports on the back have speeds with up to 10 gigabits per second with device power up to 15 watts. The two USB-A ports on the front support speeds up to 5 gigabits per second and support USB charging 1.0 too as well. Where things get really interesting for me is with the 3.5mm ports on this dock. The headphone jack on the front is actually a combo port and supports microphones as well, but along with the headphone jack on the back, this port is actually amplified so you can plug in high fidelity headphones. I tested it out with my Biodynamic DT990s which are 250 ohm hi-fi headphones and I was able to drive them at a decent volume. It doesn't quite compare to an actual DAC as far as sound quality but it can definitely get the job done. When addressing the SD card slots, both of them support UHS-2 cards, so you can take advantage of your high-speed memory cards when using them with this dock. So I ran some disk speed tests with the devices connected to the USB-A ports. The first device I tested was a SATA SSD in a USB 3.1 enclosure. The speeds were honestly a little lower than I expected, and I'm not quite sure what the cause for these low speeds are, but it's safe to say that I won't be running any games or anything like that off of these ports. I tested a SanDisk USB 3.1 drive as well, and got the same pretty low speeds. The Thunderbolt port performed as expected when I plugged it up to a Thunderbolt at 3 SSD, so it's good to see that performing as expected, but I'm a little disappointed in the overall speeds I saw with the SATA SSD in the SanDisk 3.1 drive. Overall, I'd definitely say that this is a good docking station for the price, but this is probably more useful to MacBook owners than Mac desktop owners. And if you've got something like a MacBook and ultra-fine display setup, this docking station takes care of all the other ports you need, so it's definitely something I'd recommend. I'll leave links down below to check this dock out. But that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, and give a thumbs up, and comment if you have any feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.